So one of our big concerns with the way Long Beach has handled the entire situation of uh, immigrant deportation, especially under the Trump administration, has been passing the Long Beach Values Act, which is a local policy that would limit police collaboration and all city employee collaboration with ICE to, um, to prevent people from being deported. Um, unfortunately, what they passed currently includes what we call carve-outs, which are exceptions for certain immigrants based off their past history with the justice system. So our big concern is that that has a huge disproportionate impact on Cambodian refugees. And for Long Beach, we have the largest Cambodian population outside of Southeast Asia here in the United States. So that's a huge portion of our immigrant population. And when you look back at the patterns of migration of when Cambodians settled into Long Beach um, and into other places outside of Cambodia because of the Khmer Rouge, a lot of that is um, the trauma and the, um, the problems that they face with that resettlement. 70% of Cambodian uh, refugees who have uh, traveled to Long Beach and settled here um, have faced trauma. And a way that manifests a lot of times is in um, run-ins with the justice system. And oftentimes Cambodians, especially as immigrants, don't, aren't familiar with the way our justice system works, are often forced and coerced to plead guilty. And they don't realize that because of our immigration laws, which creates an unevil playing field, that makes them hyper eligible for deportation. So a lot of the Cambodian refugees who are actually eligible for de uh, deportation under these carve-outs are for offenses that were in the 90s, early 2000s. So these aren't things that they did yesterday or last month. These are things that they've already served their time for. These are already things they've served their time for, things they've already gone through the justice system for. So just to give you an example, 1,900 Cambodians, um, there's 1,900 Cambodians uh, in the United States um, with deportation orders, and there's 1,400 of those um, uh, refugees who fall under these carve-outs. So we're talking about a huge population of Cambodian refugees that are severely impacted, that are already significantly uh, dealing with trauma, um, in their communities and those side effects and then facing family separation. So we're asking people to uh, put pressure on the mayor Robert Garcia and the city council whether uh, you live in districts one through nine um, and to let them know that they want you want to see a clean Long Beach Values Act with no carve outs so that way we can really have sanctuary for all including our Cambodian refugees. So you can go to sanctuarylb.com and learn more about how to get involved and how to contact your council member and the mayor Garcia.